what up my fellow virgos i am going to be doing an energy reading we're going to be seeing what the energy is coming towards you that you are unaware of i have shuffled for this and you already know what it is so let's just begin i would like to thank everybody for the likes comments subscribes booking those personal readings with me and giving me your good energy. I would also like to thank the people who have been donating to my channel for the holiday season, um, donating to my family. You guys are wonderful. Bless you to everybody who feels that need to open their heart and give. Um, it definitely will be rewarded back to you tenfold. All right, let's see what's going on in Virgo's energy. What's coming towards Virgo that they are unaware of? Okay, we have dealings. Dealing or relationship with a woman with dark hair or complexion. When I picked up that card, I got a family energy. Your family could be coming for the holidays. A family member could be staying with you during the holidays or during a certain time. I feel like somebody, uh, a woman, will be helping you in some type of way, coming in towards you in some type of way. What else is coming in for... Virgo, they are unaware of the changes coming for Virgo. Lighthearted, carefree time. Yeah, like I said, there is somebody coming to give you lighthearted, carefree time to help you in some type of situation. I heard support, give support in some type of way. Then we have an exciting event. Okay, I, ha I feel like these energies are coming to, uh, wow, victory in some endeavor. I feel like these if energies, there's people coming, there's energy coming, there's things coming that will align you with a more carefree time, exciting time, victory time. Also, people who want to support and help you. I've been bombarded by support um, when I have felt lack for the last few months. Now, in the upcoming months, I have all these people around me. I have all the energy around me wanting to help and give to me. So, I feel like this is just... The time of the year is that time for people to reach out. It's that time for you to get some type of support, Virgo, in some type of way. What else is coming towards Virgo? One more card, please. Okay, we have recognition and rewards for merit. All right, a lot of beautiful energy coming out for you. A lot of blessings, a lot of help, a lot of support, victories, lighthearted, carefree times, things that you are not expecting, Virgo. An exciting event, things are going to start to turn around. It can't be winter season for forever, right? What else is coming in towards Virgo? Okay, we have all oh, they violated you, petty competition, gossip, and then magic involved. Okay, magic attack. Tell me more energy here. Okay, so somebody, what's coming in for you is I feel like you're going to get clarity that somebody may have been um, attack, attacking you. Somebody may have betrayed you in some type of way. There may be some type of violation in your energy. What is coming towards Virgo? That they are unaware of. We have a pride and vanity ego check. What else is coming towards Virgo? Checking the facts and teamwork. This is what I was getting. That support team. All right. Um, gathering info. Um, things coming in to help you support that family friend. Um, networking energy that is going to help you during your time. Virgo, you could be finding out that you felt unsupported. You were in this time. You were being attacked. You were, Things were happening in your life because of spiritual attacks, physical attacks, um, mental manipulation, physical manipulation in some type of way. I do feel like there's going to be some type of check that happens. I feel like w there's two cards that say check. Check the facts. Ego check and check the facts, gathering information, spying on you. I feel like there is going to be some type of thing that is reflected, all right? Something is reflected back to somebody in some type of way. They're going to get some type of check. And you're going to be able to gather info uh, and help and support with these people coming in for you. What is this energy towards for Virgo coming in for their lives? We have concern, three and three. 
33, concern and thoughts. 16. And then we have gift, 17. I see that progression uh, when things were concerning, when you felt alone, Virgo, to it going into thoughts and gifts. And then we have false person, number eight. And then we have family room and child. False person, family room, and child energy for Virgo. Distant horizon at the bottom. Let's tap into this energy, Virgo. I do feel like there's going to be something that concerns you. And you're going to be able to gather some info, gather some thoughts about this, be able to look at this clear heartedly. Um, and then there's going to be gifts coming in for you. I do feel like there's a false person in your energy. It could be a false person in your family, but I do also see family room in child. You will be um, experience a time where there could be a, a elder, okay? Um, a mother, a father figure, family energy coming to your home. You could all be surrounding a child, okay, surrounding your children, helping you with children in some type of way. Um, you could be their child. Take it as it resonates. There's family support coming in. That's what I got from that woman energy. Um, there's also DV, I heard deception and um, violation here. So let's start with that. What is the deception and magic energy coming in for Virgo? What is the deception, competition, betrayal, magic attack coming in for Virgo? The number is 33, 16, 17, 8, 21, and 18 could be significant. I just heard to simplify them. So six, seven, eight, eight, three, and nine. What is this magic energy, betrayal energy for Virgo? We have the Hierophant. Okay, so definitely some type of spiritual attack here. Um, you could be dealing with a tourist. Taurus could be involved in some type of way. Um, but with the Hierophant energy, it talks about spiritual wisdom, um, religion. It talks about higher commitments. It talks about structures in some type of way, an institution. Okay, so there could be multiple people involved in this magic attack, or this could be the energy of a spiritual attack here. Tell me about the Hierophant and the attack and the betrayal coming in for Virgo. We have three cards here coming out. The Queen of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the High Priestess. Okay. I'm getting this is the love attack here with the Queen of Cups energy. It's an emotional a love attach. I mean, attack. Um manipulation here in some type of way with the queen of cups and the nine of swords coming towards the high priestess i do feel like somebody is sending some energy towards you with the queen of cups paired with the nine of swords it's the energy of somebody um in their emotions okay um somebody because of love because of the compassion because of the because of who they are their intuition somebody is being plagued with um anxiety fear depression and worry and nightmares so somebody could be playing off of your compassion your love to bring you um anxiety fear depression um uh, the high priestess energy i do feel like this is an attack on a high priestess is definitely a spiritual attack on your intuition in some type of way we have two intuition cards the queen of cups and the high priestess here and then we have the anxiety, worry, fear, which all comes in through the crown chakra, which is all an, an attack on the mind, Virgo, which is all something spiritual because we know your mind and your body are two different things. And then we have your mind, body, and spirit. Your spirit lives inside of your mind, blah, 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 blah. And I feel like there is somebody here that is trying to bring you some type of anxiety. They're trying to bring you something or they will do something that will cause this. Virgo. What's the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords energy? The Empress. 
okay um with the empress card it talks about children we have a child here looking at my face there's something here um that may be involving children your abundance divine femininity what you are prospering in in some type of way here all right hmm this could be somebody in your family or someone you have a family with. Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords, the Empress. And the Nine of Wands, Energy Wounded Warrior. I feel like somebody is wanting to wound you and your family. The, first. the King of Cups and the Fool card. The Fool card and the King of Cups. Somebody here... I feel like they want you to want to start over in some type of way, okay? Uh, with the King of Cups energy to the Queen of Cups, this may be somebody who has love for you, okay? Or is coming in with some type of love offer here. What's happening here? The Hierophant, the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Empress. What's happening here? The Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. The Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody um, missed their chance with you, okay? They missed an opportunity with you. With the Queen of Pentacles energy, Virgo, there you are. This person missed an opportunity with you. They missed something with you. Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. And they want to, they have a desire to do something in the future. But yeah, I heard this is an attack coming in in the future. What is the attack? What is the attack energy? The Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so this is the person who did this to you in the past. This is past energy. This person is coming back around for you, Virgo. Um, with the king, with the ten of cups in the reverse, something happened that made some type of broken family, disharmony, all right? And with the eight of wands in the reverse, it's uh, panic, slow down, it's delays, it's stopping something from moving forward. Okay, so this person is trying to spark something with you after they betrayed you. I feel like this betrayed and magic attack was due from this person in the past and now they're coming back again virgo maybe they had an ego check they had some type of reality check here spirit make it clear what's happening with the betrayal attack ego check betrayal attack ego check yeah somebody you could have had concerning thoughts about could be trying to give you a gift could be a false person trying to get into your family here. Trying to get into your house, trying to get into your home. Trying to team up with you now. What is the betrayal attack? The Eight of Cups. Walking away. Yeah, I feel like this is something you walked away from. Two of Swords, I feel like this is past energy. You were a little indecisive. Six of Wands about receiving something from them, their charity, their gift that they want to give to you in some type of way. The Four of Swords and the King of Wands. This put somebody in a position where they had to take a break, where they had to rejuvenate Virgo. I feel like now this person wants to take control of the situation with you, the Queen of Pentacles. The Empress. Empress again. The Hang Dragon, the Ten of Wands, and the Magician. Somebody, somebody here with the Hang Dragon, the Ten of Wands, and the Magician, okay? Excuse me. This is the ego check. All right. This is somebody got their ass handed to them, Virgo. You're going to get um, clarity of this person getting some type of karma. You walked away from them, Virgo. Um, and this made them very indecisive about what they did to you. All right. Now they're seeing things from a different perspective with the Ten of Wands and the Magician. This is somebody who um, 
it seemed that what they brought to you on a different perspective, the two of wands, the magician, they manifested some type of burden for you. They did this attack. They attacked you in some type of way. They betrayed you in some type of way, manifesting some type of burden for you. Death card and things ended and there was an ending. And I feel like now this person wants to transform this energy. Wow, these cards are flying right into the ground. The star card, yeah. Somebody wants to renew something here with you. They want to transform what happened. They want to take back their magic, Virgo. Take back their magic. It's too late now. With the Eight of Swords, the Page of Cups in the reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles, somebody feels trapped here because of the passive aggressive things, because of the Im emotional immaturity that they did, because they fucked up with this offer, Ace of Pentacles. You were somebody's gift, okay? It was like you were somebody's you were somebody's blessing here. Um, they fumbled the bag, Virgo. And now this person is going to be coming back around because they had some type of ego check trying to get up into your energy. Tell me about the concern. 33 and the concern energy for Virgo. Concern number 33. The Chariot, Cancer card. The Six of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. The Page of Swords, somebody thinking of you, watching you in a regretful energy. The Empress and the Five of Wands. Okay. So there is an energy of somebody very concerned, Virgo. They want to come towards you and give to you, but they're disappointed in what they see here. The Empress and the Five of Wands. There's something that you could be fighting. You could be fighting this person coming towards you. You could be fighting, reconciling with this energy. The King of Cups and an Ace of Cups. Somebody who loves you and who wants to start over here. All right. So that's the concerning energy. I feel like somebody from your past who did magic on you is going to get their ass handed to you and come back begging for you. This person is um, very concerned about what you're doing and how they brought conflict to an empress because it's backfiring and it's being reflected back to them. What is the false energy here? False person. What is the false person energy here? For Virgo. We have the Justice card in the reverse in the Knight of Wands. Yeah, there is somebody here who did an injustice to you. All right, with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this caused a lot of frustrations. They came in recklessly. They was acting reckless, caused injustice towards you. With the Chariot card, could have been a Cancer. A lot of Cancer energy coming out. Libra energy as well. Queen of Swords. The Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. You got clarity of this person already and separated from them, Virgo. Who is this false person? Ten of Swords, somebody you had an ending with, a painful ending with. Yeah, you walked away from this person with the Eight of Cups. The Magician and the Four of Wands. Now they want to manifest celebrations. They want to manifest coming into the family room energy again and again and again. There's people that are going to be getting their ass handed to them. Okay, let me ask why. Why does this person, why do these people want to come back towards Virgo now? Um, I feel like one was a male and one was a female here. Why do these people want to come towards Virgo now? Why are these people wanting to fix things, manifesting your Virgo after betraying them, after being false, after these injustice? Why are these people coming towards Virgo? You have the Ace of Cups in the reverse because Virgo, because you're cold, you're emotionless, you block them. All right, um, they get no love from you. Ace of Cups in the reverse. They could be, they could be, um, their dating lives or things could be trapped. Okay, um, 
they could be stuck in the karma of having no love if this was a lover who fucked you over now their love life is being fucked over somebody's getting the karma that they gave you they're trapped in this cold energy um virgo where they're trapped outside the family they're blocked from some type of love or emotion that they have for you it also talks about spirituality. It talk, also talks about children. Ten of Pentacles, that's family energy. Six of Cups, that's family energy. And more children energy. You're going to block somebody from your home, your family, your children. Okay? You're no longer letting them in. They feel trapped, Virgo. From the abundance. I feel like you are an abundant person. You know, with the victories, the recognition, things are coming towards you here exciting events are happening towards you so these are people who have separated from you who are stuck in a low vibration watching you overcome with the three of swords in the reverse these are people who see you releasing the pain and getting over it virgo seven of wands in the reverse and the king of pentacles i feel like these people realize that they wasted wasted their time because of how you were able to take control of a situation the sun card and still get your happiness virgo you're you're gonna be blessed here okay the page of cups in the emperor you're gonna be blessed here okay there's things that will be given to you people are going to be apologizing for you uh, coming towards you squabbling at your feet trying to get you to um, be okay with them again because they're stuck virgo with the eight of swords energy somebody is stuck in that energy they're stuck in this low vibration this could be a mental, physical, or spiritual jail in some type of way. Tell me about the victory in some endeavor for Virgo. Tell me about the victory in some endeavor for Virgo. A fireplace could be significant here. Chandeliers could be significant. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands in the reverse, the Empress in the reverse, and the Sun card in the reverse. This is the energy of some type of conflict that was created aimless energy that was unfruitful with the sun card in the reverse something um was not successful we're asking about the victory in some endeavor okay bad news that something didn't work it was not successful victory in some endeavor the hermit the three of pinnacles and the two of wands and the emperor okay so with the Hermit card, I do feel like you're getting some type of checking the facts. Three of Pentacles, and then we have the teamwork. It's right in front of me. That's weird. The Hermit and the Three of Pentacles, and then we have checking the facts and teamwork. I do feel like in the future, Virgo, you're going to be able to get some enlightenment. Somebody's going to be teaming up with you in the future to take control over something. That was their energy, the victory in some endeavor. There could have been people with the page of wands that was trying to create conflict for you, um, trying to fuck up your ideas, trying to bring bad news towards you, but they were fruitless. This was a, a fruitless endeavor for somebody. They lacked something that that made this not successful for you, Virgo. With the Hermit card in the upright, you're going to be getting some type of news from checking up on something from an intuitive download from literal evidence here and with the three of pinnacles and the two of wands somebody's going to be working with you to help gather some type of structure to get some type of um it's almost like boss up over something uh, to gain your structure back to gain your empire back to gain your control back yeah, Tower card, the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Cups. We have the 666 coming out. 666 um, talks about balance um, between the earth spiritual, spiritual realm and the physical realm. I mean, the spiritual, the physical, and the mental, maybe? Hmm, I'm going to have to look that up. 
um, mind, body, and soul energy. It also talks about melanin. It's the six of the components that make up melanin. Um, so I could be talking to my melanated kings and queens out here. Uh, with this energy, the six of pentacles, the six of wands, and the six of cups, there's going to be a breakthrough. All right, somebody's going to help you boss up. This could be with the emperor energy, somebody helping you um, in a way where you're not expecting it to come up, to rise up in some type of way. So if you are in a position where you're working for somebody with the emperor card, this is taking you to a position where you're working for yourself. This is climbing up the ladder in some type of way. Somebody's going to be teaming up with you and collaborating with you. And the tower card and the six of pentacles, this is going to be a crazy gift, Virgo. Something that just takes you, blindsides you, okay? With charity, remember the blindside movie? Um, it was a, a feminine energy who took on somebody and changed their life completely. I feel like it's the same concept, Virgo. It doesn't have to be fin feminine, could be a masculine. Take it as re resonates. But there's somebody here that's going to take you under their ring and give to you in such a way with the Six of Wands and the Six of Cups. You're going to have victory here. Victory and some success, public recognition with the Six of Cups energy. This could be somebody from your past or they could be helping you and your family here, Virgo. Virgo rising, your whole family here, bringing success towards you, King of Cups energy. The Six of Swords, the High Priestess. This is a humanitarian. This is somebody who loves to give, to loves to donate. This is somebody who loves to help people transform their lives. They love to help High Priestess. They love to help spiritual people who have been fucked over. I feel like, Virgo, there is somebody coming into your life that will help you um, illuminate the things of your past, illuminate uh, the spiritual attacks that were sent towards you and take you out of it. Just literally pluck you out of something and help you gain some type of victory in some type of way. Let's talk about the lighthearted, carefree time. Exciting event coming in for Virgo. Lighthearted, carefree time. Exciting event for Virgo. We have the death card and the nine of pentacles. Changes coming to you. Changes that come to you that makes you more sufficient. Okay. It makes you self-sufficient. So Virgo, if you were dependent in some type of way, depending on others, um, needing in some type of way, Virgo, I do feel like there's going to be a death. There's going to be a transformation that brings you into something where you're going to get rewards, where you're going to, where you're going to be able to pick the fruits of your labor, where you're going to be able to be self-sufficient in every way like carefree time here yep six of swords the hermit and the nine of cups y'all i can't make this up this beautiful energy coming towards you there is people um from your past that is going to be watching you in this energy i feel like this is why they're coming towards you virgo right here um they're seeing you go from um Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. They're, they're seeing you going from the bottom to the top. I know that's such a cliche. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. All right. But if that's the energy, people are going to be watching you. The past people who have violated you, sent magic attacks, they're going to get a reality check that they fucked over the wrong person, Virgo. Because there's going to be a huge major transformation that moves you with the Six of Swords, the Hermit card, and the Nine of Cups. Literally moves the Hermit into something that is luxury, okay, with the Nine of cups energy this is luxury this is emotional st stability this is satisfaction and wish fulfillment virgo you're going to be fulfilled surpassing your enemies in a way where they're going to be coming back and begging for forgiveness they're going to be begging and, and it's so fucked up that they did this to you um, and <laughs> that's that's how ain't that how the cookie crumbles virgo ain't that how the cookie crumbles eight of cups yeah you, you're gonna be have such fulfillment have such luxury have such self-sufficiency you're gonna be able to walk right out of these people life walk away from the things in the past that no longer serves you virgo Oh my gosh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Virgo, you're going to be pecking up and walking away with the Queen of Pentacles energy. You're going to be walking away in your abundance, all right? You're going to be walking away domestically comforting, being able to uh, bring nutrients and life and be self-sufficient in every single way. The Grapes and Tarot, uh, 
talk about luxury. It talks about hard work. It also talks about something that wasn't easy to obtain. This did not come to you because you were lucky, Virgo. This was coming to you because you were, it was due to you. The five of cups and the six of wands, people are going to be disappointed when they see your victories. People are going to be regretful. I'm talking about looking back on the past like, damn, why did I count Virgo out? Why didn't I recognize Virgo um, before they got to this fame? Why did I do this to Virgo? Because now Virgo wants nothing to do with me. With the Eight of Cups, you're going to be walking away in a practical way, Virgo. You're going to be walking out of these people's lives and they're going to be watching you in disappointment, hanging their head, wondering why they didn't try harder when they had the chance. And that's too bad for fucking them, okay? That's the energy I'm getting here. You are going to give your haters a reality check from the things, from the prosperity, from the victory, from y'all. Virgo, if you are not in this energy, if right now you're concerned about the things happening for you, if right now you are in that opposite energy, needing, wanting support, keep your head held high, keep working hard, and keep trusting in the divine. Somebody is going to help team up with you, and with that emperor energy, it could literally be the divine helping you here. But somebody is going to be helping you uh, bring up your energy in some type of way. There's going to be help in some type of way where your enemy are going to question why they were false why was i false to virgo why was i fake to virgo why did i do this to virgo and you're going to be sitting here in your recognition getting your rewards in this lighthearted, carefree time having successful things come to you exciting events uh, victories in your endeavors and looking like well i don't need you now <laughs> i don't need you now and i don't want you now I feel like you're going to be surpassing the energy that you are currently in in such a way you're going to not be able to recognize your life and these people are not going to be able to recognize you. This is what I got here for the Virgos and what you don't see coming. This is a real ass reality check for all your enemies, your haters. They're going to be gathering facts and spying on you and watching you get all this support. They're going to be envious there's going to be a group of haters who are envious of all the supports, the work, the networking, the co-working, the excitement, the victories that are coming into your life. And they're going to be wishing and hoping and praying that you forgive them. Um, I wouldn't. Uh, this is what I got here for the Virgos. If, I, if you resonated with anything here, tell these haters that uh, they just helped you in the future, okay? I feel like these haters, these people who brought you down, sent you these magic attacks, these are the same people who put you in this position where you're going to prosper. If somebody was supposed to find you in this energy, somebody was supposed to find you in the energy of needing help, the energy of concern, and come give you this gift. Be like, hmm, that's somebody I need to give a gift to. That's somebody I need to help out. That's somebody I need to donate to. That is somebody who needs my help. I feel like Virgo, they don't even realize, you don't even realize that you're being placed in a position where somebody is going to see and recognize that you're the person they're supposed to give a gift to. You're the person you're, they're supposed to help. Something is all happening for a reason, and you're going to figure out that reason here in the future. This is what I got here for the Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, North, North, Venus. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.